Well, temperatures are rising, things are greening up, weeds are starting to pop back out. It's time to get busy with some lawn work. Come on and I'll show you what I got going on today. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. Today, I'm gonna be getting into doing a little bit of spraying and trying to kill out some weeds and some grass that's growing in places that I don't want it to grow. Specifically, my lower parking lot area or driveway area and I'll spin the camera around so you can see is all in the gra all in my gravel here. All of this is coming up, uh, grow you know, filling in with grass. I have to kill this out once or twice a year, and today's just a great day to do it. So I'm gonna grab the uh, gator, and I've got that 10 foot boom that opens up. It's a really great system. It's a 45 gallon container, and I'm gonna mix up some chemical and do a bunch of spraying today. Listen, if this is your first time uh, tuning in, welcome. And uh, I hope you guys will consider uh, subscribing. And if you, and also please like and share with your friends. Uh, our channel is all about doing projects, just knocking them out one at a time. We work here around my house and uh, at my kid's house. Uh, and of course with the kids, the projects never end there. Uh, bless their hearts. And so anyway, uh, there's just always something to be doing. I learn something every time and I always try to take everything I learned and share it with you. So guys, again, please consider liking, subscribing and sharing. So anyway, guys, you know me, let's go get busy. Hey guys, as a quick note, please be sure to stick around to the end of this video. I will do the cleaning. Uh, all, you always wanna do a good cleaning when you're done and I'll show you how the nozzles come off and how they've got little screen filters in them. It's really cool the way it's designed. Be sure to stick to the end, I'll show you that. All right, so I'm preparing uh, to get ready to spray in, and what I'm doing is mixing up my stuff and I'll go into detail about this here in just a quick sec. I'm actually gonna do two different things and I'll tell you what and explain why. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is work my mulch bed areas. Now, the power sprayer, uh, it has the boom on the back as well as a, a, a wand, and the wand works really well. I can actually turn the volume way down and do uh, small, small areas, but it still has so much volume, I want a little bit better finessing control. So for doing my mulch beds, I'm actually gonna wear a backpack one uh, that's a hand pump. They These come with battery powered, but this is the one I've had for years. And you know, I just got to pump, uh, hand pump it as I go. And this has a much smaller, finer controlled mist. And I like doing this uh, because I don't want to take a chance on killing any of my shrubbery and bushes and flowers that's in my mulch beds. But then when I get to doing this area out here and all along the driveway, I obviously will upgrade to this. Um, and this will do a fantastic job and I'll show you it in operation in a second. So I'm using a product called, and I'll swing the camera around and I'll show you. Uh, this is from Tractor Supply. It is their brand called Farmworks. And from everything I've been told and everything, if you look with the chemicals that's on board this, this is pretty much the same stuff as Roundup, except for it's a whole lot less money. So uh, this is what I've been using the last few years and I can't tell the difference. It's a total vegetation killer uh, and it does a great job. Now, the formula that I've always used is three ounces to the gallon. So for me on my backpack, uh, I did about six ounces of product and I've, I've got it not full all the way. I'm doing about two gallons here. And then over here, I'm gonna go all the way up for 45 gallons. And this was almost a full gallon of product. If you do your math, it comes up to right at a gallon uh, to do it. That's one of the reasons why I love the 45 gallon canister because a lot of the chemicals that you use is three ounces to a gallon. Not every one, but a lot of them. And it just makes the math easy. A gallon and then fill it up the rest of the way with water which I'm doing now. We're working on filling it up. So anyway, we'll let this stuff finish up and then we'll get busy. So I also wanted to mention some safety notes. Um, everybody talks about this product being a cancer generator. I don't know, I mean, you see things talking about it is and you see things talking about it's not. So the way I look at doing it is I'm gonna treat this product with the utmost in respect. So for example, when I'm handling it, I have gloves on uh, I do not let any of this get on my skin. Uh, they say that if you get enough on it, it will actually penetrate through your skin and get in your system. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I treat it as if it's true, and so that's why I wear gloves. 
Um, I do not spread this product when the wind is blowing because I don't want to take a chance of the mist getting up in the air and me breathing it in and getting it into my lungs. Uh, and then I also uh, do a final notice when I'm done and after I do cleanup, uh, I go inside and I take a shower and I just wash up good to make sure I don't have any product that's left on my skin anywhere, even by accident. So um, again, just a note of safety, be as careful as you can with this. Don't breathe it, don't try not to let it get on your skin. And then if you wanna take it as far as I do, I take it that last step and then go shower after I'm done. So anyway, just a safety tip. All right, that went pretty good. Uh, that was two gallons out, not too much time, probably 15 minutes or so. Uh, I did run into one little thing I'll share with you. Uh, just a little mental note. You know, when I started, the wind wasn't blowing at all, and we've, I had a couple of breezes come through. It just kind of whipped up. And obviously, I got the pack on my back, and I'm all mixed up, and I surely can't walk. I'm not gonna walk away. So what I did in those cases when the wind picked up is I put my back to the wind, and I'll show you. So. The wind was blowing in this direction, so I put my back to the wind and I sprayed this way and I backed up. And that way the wind was blowing any product that was in the air, it was blowing it that way away from me. And that way, hopefully I minimized, you know, what could be on me. Not trying to overdo the safety thing, but you know, uh, it is an issue. So you want to be as careful as possible. Anyway, got that finished up. So now let's get busy with the big spray. when I'm done uh, I want to do a good cleanup I want to make sure I get as much stuff out of this as I can uh, want to make sure don't have any as, as little as residue left over inside the tank so it'll be good to go for the next next one I also want to blow out all my lines so the first thing I do is this has a drain I take this off right here I obviously hear the water running in so I do that and I just let it drain out in this will tilt up and I'll run the water out of it here shortly and I also I like uh, to put some Ajax or jo not Ajax powder, but liquid like dishwashing detergent. I like to put that in too, just to help break down and neutralize the chemicals that's inside. So anyway, once I start filling that up, then I will start just running it and cleaning out the lines. And it would help if I switched it the other way. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> so I'll just let this sit and run and run and blow out the lines good. And in the early part of the video, I promised you guys, let me show you how these come apart. It's really cool. So this right here just does a half twist off and drops down. And then, there 
There comes the filter. And it was in there somewhere. And then it has a little screen. And you can see they're nice and clean. And so you just push this back up in. Do your half a turn. And we'll keep cleaning it out. There we go. And then the other thing I do is we'll flip the lever and turn it on and we'll clean out the wand. And again, this has the side trigger and you can go to a real nice fan or you can take it all the way down to it and you can do it on the fly with your thumb. That's a really cool feature. I love the way this wand works. It took me a little while to get used to it, but man, do I love it. And boy, you talk about a spray. Look how far you can throw that. Isn't that cool? Well, guys, she's all nice and clean now and rinsed out, and I'm just going to let it finish draining through the afternoon. Um, so uh, the thing works flawless. Uh, this is my second season with it, and I have not had any issues whatsoever. It's one of the great additions to the things that I've got for taking care of my property. And as you saw, it makes spraying for weeds so fast and easy. Uh, I'll continue to use it as, uh, as the summer approaches and we get more and more weeds growing. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope y'all found that beneficial. Again, the John Deere Sprayer 45 gallon. Uh, any of the dealerships, uh, they, they don't usually keep it in stock. I had to order this one. Uh, but I tell you, it was worth the wait and I have used it, used it, used it. So uh, again, thanks guys for watching. I hope again, don't forget to click the subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, I have another video and I will post the link to it at the end of, I'll do the end screen and add that. So if you'd like to watch it, that one was of last year up at my son's, uh, the daycare center, they're refurbishing. Uh, and that project is going great, by the way. Uh, I'll do some more video updates uh, to show you guys how that's coming along as well. But uh, I'll, I'll show uh, include the video of when I used that last year for up there if you want to see some more of it in action. Anyway guys take care thanks again for watching remember here at uh, Project Next there's always one more I try to do two videos a week so we'll definitely be having more videos coming so for now you guys have a great week stay safe take care thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.